Supreme Court Registrar Esther Nyayaki is a wanted woman. She is under siege, accused of doctoring the outcome of a scrutiny exercise. To reflect the will of the people. The dissenting opinion of Supreme Court Judge Lady Justice Njoki Ndungu put her report right in the middle of the nullified election after it questioned the content. On Monday, Nyayaki was invited for a formal interview and requested to supply a number of documents. This summons followed a complaint lodged by one Rashid Mohammed before the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, which in turn wrote to the Register of the Judiciary, Anna Madi, informing her of complaints against Nyayaki. But Nyayaki will not be attending the meeting at Integrity Center until permission to appear is granted by the Chief Justice David Maraga. She has sought for the same from Judge Maraga, who is yet to respond. In her letter, Nyayaki protested to the CJ, saying information demanded by the EACC is privileged as it remains part of the exhibit and forms part of the Supreme Court proceedings. The ECC also wants Nyayaki to provide original reports she prepared and all the documents she relied upon in preparing the report, all forms 34As, 34Bs and 34Cs, as was submitted by the IEBC to the court within 48 hours after the filing of the presidential petition. Certified copies of pleadings of the petition, certified copies of the judgment, both majority and dissenting and a certified copy of the court order that granted the National Super Alliance access to the IEBC servers. Further, ESCC wants certified copies of correspondences relating to the presidential petition. In her defense, Nyayaki says in the letter she discharged the audit with a conscientious understanding of the orders the court issued and being part of her duties. Ken Mijungu, NTV.